And welcome back folks, this is part number two between Bishop and Biol, a pro battle. A former pro who pretty much retired, Biol here on the olive green, pale green Protoss here on the top right of the map. And then we have QLTYQ July, also known as Bishop, a current professional player played in two ASL seasons, which means he's pretty damn good. And he's here playing Terran against Biol, who has a lot of experience on fastest map. And Bishop, who is largely known for his hunter skill. He's one of the best hunter players in the world, and he's here branching out into the fastest map, learning 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, everything all at once. What's he got up his sleeve? He is considered to be a random player in the professional scene, but here he is playing Terran, and I have to add that over the past year or so, he's mostly played Terran the most in the professional scene. It's pretty much all been Terran. Sometimes he still plays Zerk. He's very good at Zerk, very good at Protoss, professional level on every single race, but on his Terran, he definitely is the best. And he started to become a Terran specialist, so I think Bjol has quite a challenge ahead of him here because Bjol is not going to have an easy time to overcome this Terran that Bishop has honed and mastered over the past years. Triple Barrack build or there, went for Barrack Supply, Barrack Barrack. Actually, I missed the start. I don't know if he went for Supply Depot, Barrack 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 or Barrack Supply Depot, Barrack Barrack. I didn't quite catch that. But I think this is Supply Depot, Barracks, Barracks, Barracks into Supply Depot Gas. Yeah, this is gonna be a fast academy on Triple Barracks build order. Gives him a lot of pushing power with the early Stim and Medic, but it does give him less Marines than if you went for Barrack, Supply Depot, Barrack, Barrack, because then you have a 14 second head start on your first Marine, your second Marine, and your third Marine. So everything is 14 seconds faster. But it does cost you the Stim upgrade and the Medics, which you will now be able to get much sooner. So scouting the map there, we have Biel going for Nexus, Forge, Choke, Gateway, Gas, Gas, Cybercore here in the back. Went for his Assimilator a little bit faster than usual, only put one cannon in the front instead of two. Like most of the time, people bake two cannons, which then slows down their double Assimilator. Bill went for one cannon, faster first assimilator, got a second assimilator, assimilator a little bit later. But that's kind of what he has in mind. Yeah, not, not, not much to say here, not much to say. Academy almost finished up, we'll soon get his stim, gonna get triple medic at the same time. I think Bishop has already found out where Bill is located and he's gonna try to break through that cannon in the front. And Biol seems to be expecting it because he is getting triple gateway and is not building a robotic facility. He's gonna get dragoons in dragoon range. He's gonna try to go for a counter attack onto Bishop, who's gonna try to break through the cannon here before Biol has anything to fight with. He's gonna try to kill some of those more probes in the back. Like Biol is very surprised by what's happening. Biol was not expecting this, and they're throwing question marks onto the scene. Dragoons are almost there, but not yet there, not quite yet. So Bishop has the opportunity to kill quite some of those probes, and that's one, that's two, three, and four. They're all gonna go down on this corner there. Dragoons have spawned. Bunker almost finished up, gonna try to kill the SCD, but he target fired on the Marine instead. Bunker will finish up. When the Bunker is finished up, it's gonna be... Kills the Bunker just in time with 30 HP. Needed just one more second, and the Bunker would have been finished up. But yeah, Biel losing a lot of his probes. This is a lot of damage taken. 16 probes. On double nexus, he should be ahead by 10 probes, but now he's down 4 probes in total. Bishop getting his commander there in the back, and might get commander number 2 as well, getting marine range, getting armor first. Not getting marine attack, but getting armor. That's something I've never seen before. I've never seen someone go for armor before attack. Probably to make them a little bit stronger in surviving against the Dragoon damage, because Dragoons do decreased damage against marines, because marines are small units, so the damage is a little bit lower. So getting armor maybe forces the Dragoons to do three shots, stims on the Dragoons, Dragoons force to run away, to force the front of the Dragoon to go down. That one goes down, Biel is in some trouble here, Biel is in some trouble. Marines there though, 
There's a lot of Zagoons now on the map, and he might get a pretty good arc around those Marines. The Medicator, though, is going to make the difference. Spins right in. Might lose one more Dragoon. Stays alive, just walks away. More Marines joining the fray. Got a Citadel of the Dune on the way there for Buell. Finished up. Might get a Templar's Archive soon to get some of our Templars to try and push those Marines back. But the Marines are pushing forward strongly. Kind of ignoring the fact that Dragoons are there on the map. He's going to push forward as far as he can. Our Templars will soon be on the way. We've got the Templar's Archive building. Level 1 attack, 4 Dragoons on the way. Factory on the way, they're back at home in Bishop's base, getting a third command center as well, running straight for the Marines, for the probes, scouting the base, sees the Templar's Archive. That's a big one. He has a turret already there though, so the Dark Templar probably would not have gotten into the base. But knowing that Dark Templars were on the way, will allow him to, you know, prepare for those Dark Templars a little bit better than if he didn't know. So Bishop is not going to build a wall in the front. I'm going to just build bunkers with a little bit of room in between. Build there all the way from across the map. Might set up right here in the front. Might just stay on the middle. Really two options. He cannot attack those bunkers because we have bunker range. Marine range. Marine range and bunker range on top of each other. Which will zone those dragoons away to a safe distance. Cannot quite break through. Two more gates. Star Stargates on the way there from Beal. Triple Forge. No robotics. He's just gonna go for all. He's gonna go for fast arbiters. <clears throat> Not something I've seen him ever do before. Don't think I've seen many people do this before except Goltong Kong. I think Kong has done this once. So he went for a double starboard really quick for a fast arbiter tribunal for fast arbiters. Attack, shield, and weapon all on the way. Level 1 attack finished up. Level 1 marine armor finished up. Not gonna get level 1 attack yet. Getting siege mode there. Siege tank is finished up. He's got double armory on the way in the back. Very fast double armory for level 1 attack and armor for those tanks. Getting a third gas as well. The choke and the gas is kind of beefing it up. Getting another bunker. Bill is spreading his dragoons out so that he can go for an all-in attack and cover as much surface area as possible. Maybe just keeping them there at a safe distance to make moving out for Bishop really difficult. Both players on about the same worker counts. 48 for Buell, 43 for Bishop. More games on the way there for Buell, getting a robotics as well. Might go for drops, might go for observers. So honestly, not too sure what he is planning on doing. Can sell the speed around the way as well. Dark Archon Winger on the side might prepare for a mind control game, honestly. Might prepare for a mind control game. I feel like a tank drop is being built there by Bishop. Got some cannons spaced around the base for Bjols. So he's preparing himself for the anti tank drop. So the tank drop might not do too much. Maybe he's going to put tanks on the high ground instead and then push the dragoons away from the front. Level 1 attack and armor both on the way. Not getting level 1 attack. Still not getting level 1 attack, but he's getting 5 barracks in total. Storm on the way there for Buell. Getting recall as well. He's gonna just gonna go straight into recalls. Not gonna go for the conventional drops that much. It's gonna be a 1 shuttle drops. Coming out from Buell and double fast arbiter. Fast double arbiter. Moves out into the middle. Finds Dragoon. Dragoon's gonna have to run away. Bishop is feeling impatient, and he's going to go push across the map and go for the attack. Hopefully that's going to work out well for him. Bill will soon have level 1, 1, 2, so his army will be a little bit stronger with upgrades. Big army coming there from Bill from that choke point. Marines stimming, trying to kill as much as they can, but this army from Bill looks to be a little bit stronger than Bishop's army. Yeah, Bishop's going to lose that army, he's going to lose the fight. Move out a little bit too soon. I get what he was trying to do. He was probably expecting Bill to have almost no units and more drop technology, but instead he went for. Oh, he scouts the double stargates. So he knows Arbiters are on the map. I think Bishop was expecting Bill to go for a stronger robotics build order and that he would have enough units to push across the map and try to break that choke with his marine 
tank medic army. Assuming Buell wouldn't have a very big gateway army, but Buell, surprisingly, read the situation quite well by playing pretty far outside of the box. Hasn't really attacked once. He's focusing on macroing up, getting rich, getting a bigger base, getting a big economy, getting a big army, and getting a great diversity of technology. Gonna try to go for a big recall, I'm sure. Might could go along the way inside the shuttle. He might try to m recall the mind control SCV back home instead of actually going for an attack. Couple of cannons around the middle, probably. Observe on the middle as well. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six factories, triple star port, side facility, they're on the scene. No vision on the high ground yet. Building turrets on the side, level 1 1 for the tanks finished up. Getting level 1 attack and 2 armor for the marines as well. So that's all going pretty nicely. Level 3 attack on the way there for those gateway units. Getting Arbiter energy, Observer speed, Shield and armor also on the way there for the gateway units. Getting 2 more Arbiters, getting more gateways. That's a lot of gateways. 8, 8, that's 17, 19. 23 plus 5. So we're on 28 gateways. It's gonna be number 29. Yeah, he's got a lot of production ready to go, ready to rock, ready to try and knock Bishop off his socks. He's on 73 SCVs and has not been hurt yet in these past 12 minutes. Bio really is taking his sweet, sweet time. The Dark Archon got killed. He might have another one somewhere on the map. I doubt it though. No, it looks like just looks like the Dark Archon got killed. Oh wait, he already got the mind control SCV. So he looked across the hill, got the mind control SCV there from this turret, recalled the SCV back home. And now we have Bishop going with a surgically precise strike. He's going to try to kill that before Stasis arrives. He knows the SCV is there. So the Rays are coming in. Five of them and totally sees and finds the SCV. Scans it. Kills it. Goodbye, Mind Control. That little trickery Bill had in mind didn't work. Tried to play around with Bishop, but Bishop apparently turns out no slouch. Finds it. Kills the SCV. Mind Control averted. Crisis is gone. Now Bishop has... A Pretty good position to start pushing from. But that's a big army waiting there in the middle, and it's difficult to push when you're basically surrounded on the middle. So he's still waiting in his base, gonna max out, gonna fill out the raining gas as well, and then move out into the middle. Ship plating there on the way, ship attack on the way as well. He's got level. There's no marines right there. Level 1 1 there on the marines, while getting level 2 attack. Level 2 armor almost finished up. Might need a couple more factories. He still has a bit of space in his base to fill out and start attacking with. But right now, both players are waiting, waiting, and waiting. Either Bio, Bio's gonna go for it, and Bishop immediately sees up in and responds very well. Time great space on a group of tanks. Storms coming down as well. No observers on the scene. Arbiter has taken out of the air. This observer then the front actually. So the race not going to do too much. And Bishop there gets his front door blasted open with C4. And Yola's is in the house. When he's from the back, coming to the front tanks are spawning. He's going to clear this army out. Specifically when those tanks get out of that stages. More storms coming down. Taking down even more tanks. But the tanks are pretty well spaced out. And they're behind factors. It's difficult for Yola to push forward into Bishop's base. But as I said before, 29 gateways. Bill has a lot of gateway production. You can just keep on going, keep on sending. He's almost immediately back to maxed out supply after losing a maxed out supply army here in Bishop's Choke. And Bishop is still kind of lagging behind. Really needs more factories, which he's getting right now. He's gonna get four here, maybe even get two more here, here, or here, here. With a total of six factories in the block. A little bit of empty space on the side. Might lift up those barracks at some point and get more factories there as well. Building another choke. He's not moving out. 
He's not moving out. He knows the size of Buell's base, and he knows that he cannot overpower Buell with his macro at the moment. He's sitting here back. He's sitting back in his own front door. Not yet going for the attack. He's using six gas at the moment. And there's a small little recall on top of the tanks. I missed but the recall. Doesn't do too much. Doesn't do too much. Bill has some good ideas, but none of them are good enough to really hurt Bishop all that much. Except that Fumble Attack was earlier. That was a good one. If Bishop had an actual wall, that Fumble Attack would not have really done much whatsoever. Would have done nothing at all. Now the Zealots with really good upgrades are just marching through that front door. Two through three. Almost a triple three. Someone got a triple three going for those gateway units. Just hangs on one one. Will within ten seconds be on two two. Don't we take some heavy storms in the face? But Bishop manages to survive the attack and again. It's just Buell putting pressure on Bishop. There's no drops on the map. He prepared another Dark Archon. He wants to really get that mind control recall and finish that command center that he just he cancelled it. He was blocking the exit, so he's cancelled it. Like more cannons in the front, more arbors being built in the back. Getting more robo- he, he's gonna go for shoulder drops. He added more robos. I think Buell is realizing that he underestimated his opponent. And Bishop is adequately equipped to deal with what Buell has prepared. Bishop is adequately equipped. You cannot underestimate the guy. He's been defending really well. Getting his production in order on top of that. More starports there in the base. I think everything is now level 2 2 except for the airs on 1 1. Shuttles are coming in over the top side there. Will Bishop be able to run away to safety? Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Kills the drop really easily. Valkyries in the air. Got some ghosts and turrets on that side as well. The drop does not make it too far. But doesn't even have to run away with those SCVs. I wanted to know if he had his SCVs hotkeyed or if he pulls them apart. 12 by 12 and sends them to another base. He doesn't have vision of another base, so he, he's gonna have to scan to get vision to run those SCVs to safety drop over the bottom side. Starts unloading there on the bottom side. Not gonna reach those SCVs. They're a little bit too far away. He's gonna try to clear out this bottom corner, but doesn't really do much damage other than tanks hitting turrets with their tank shots with Zelda standing next to them. So, Again, this drop not really doing too much. Buell has been very ineffective because he, you know, that's the choice he made. Dark Archon should be somewhere on the map. Bishop starts to push. Tanks are in 2 2. He feels strong enough. 2 2 tanks can keep up with 3 3 3 zealots and dragoons. So it's pretty difficult to do. They kind of just ignore most of the damage and arrive on those tanks, are hitting the tanks. Drop comes in, bottom side, recalls the SCB. He got it again. Attempt number two. Will this time be successful? I think Bishop knows. There's, there's a Dark Archon there, which of course means that an SCB probably got a recall. We'll have to see if he's gonna scan Gil's base and find out if there is an SCB. Somewhere in that base. He's probably gonna kill those gateways here and build factories there. If he manages to get there in time, because Bishop does not have a lot standing in his way. He has some cannons and dragoons, a high tempo as well. And gateway units being built here back at home to keep him from entering Buell's front door and kill the SCV. He's gonna to have to try, he's gonna to have to push forward. 79 SCVs. Filled out the remaining four gas as well. We've got gas coming in, a lot of factories. There's about 12 factories. Actually, the factory count is not that high, but he has a lot of barracks as well. And the ghosts are good against the shuttles. Shuttles coming in all over the top of the army. Templars in between, storming all over the place. Templars storming everywhere. The tanks are splitting up. Bishop is splitting some of the control micro. Responding quickly, couldn't lock down those shuttles quick enough though. The damage has been done. Look at the tank just coming and coming from across the map. Arbiter's onto the scene. He's 
building a barracks there. He wants to get to tanks as fast as he can. He's gonna have to buy himself a lot of time and leeway. It's a race against the clock for both players. Yo has to get tanks really quick. Bishop has to prevent the tanks as fast as he can. Both players are racing to prevent or make it happen. That's a lot of arbiters there, though. He can stall for time. He can stall for a lot of time. He can stall for a lot of time with stasis. It's one. He's gonna use number two. Valkyrie's trying to kill. Gets a lockdown on one arbiter. Valkyrie's in front go down. The tanks in the front are kind of functioning as a wall. Looks like he killed the wrong arbiter or locked up the wrong arbiter. Actually, he just had 250 energy on all the arbiters. So Bishop there with a slightly too small army moved a little bit too far forward. He had to. He had to try. And Bill now on the pushback with Mass Arbiter stays his all over the place. Does not have energy for a lockdown. Has to retreat back to his home. Because that's a lot of army. Kills the High Templar, dodges the storm. That's important. Because that KOE army would have probably been able to kill all the tanks. Have they taken all the damage from that storm and have the entire shuttle unloaded? So good moves there from, from Bishop. Keeping up with Byol. Byol kind of gave up on dropping. He's just fully focused on building a factory and getting siege mode and tanks. Bishop is racing against the clock. He really needs more of those factories. He stopped producing from his barracks, and that means he only has 13 factories in total to produce with, and that might just not be enough to keep up with the basically 30 gateway production that Biol has going. One factory finished, gonna need number two as well. More Arbiters enter the map, Templars in between. Templars are just the absolute maximum hard counter to tanks. Like the tanks are just sitting there, waiting to get stormed. They cannot run away, they just have to take all the damage from the storm. If you can hit like six storms on a group of tanks, you can kill like 24 tanks with six storms. It's really, really brutal stuff. Arbiter, oh, Mark Arkin on the bottom. It's an empty shuttle, actually. Arbiter on the middle, vessels arriving on the scene. Tanks are doing a great job. One vessel in the back gets taken down. Arbiter stays on another vessel. One vessel stays alive. Trying to target it down, but it moves back. Pulling turrets in the middle as well. This army from Bill is absolutely massive. It's chunky, it's chunky, it's beefy. It's thick. But is it enough? I, I think it is. I think it is. The stasis on all those tanks and all oh, units coming come from behind as well. Somehow, some units coming from behind, getting us around on the middle. It looks like Bill will be able to get his mind control tank army going. And that's going to make life very difficult for Bishop, who's trying his hardest to push across the map. Just does not have enough production. Only 13 factories. It just doesn't seem to be enough against 30 gateways. And now two factories as well. Siege mode finished up. He's ready to siege and try to keep him locked out of that base. Doesn't have a lot of space to build though. One factory in the top corner, three in the front. Putting his command centers on the side. Tank going into the middle, gonna siege up. No upgrade on the tanks yet, but tanks without upgrades are still pretty damn strong. The tanks are taken down. There's a small little window of time for Bishop to push forward here, but his supply is too small. I said it before, his supply is too small. He's all maxed out upgrades, so 3 3. Very good stuff. 1 1 tanks. The air for Yes, Biola is on 232. Getting carrier capacity. He might get some carriers in addition to his tanks. The Little Arbiter being a pain in the ass. Forces scan to the tank. Slowing something down yet again. Look at the damage the storm is doing. Got like 18 units. All on low HP. And he storms to death. That one misses though. That's good. That's good. Arbiters. No energy. He's gonna. He's gonna. Was he, I'm not sure what he's gonna do with him. Oh, looks like Bishop knows about this. He's gonna kill the supply that he has. He's gonna have to siege up right here. Shoot across the hill to kill those factories. There's two tanks, four tanks in the front with a high Templar. 
Oh, the game is becoming progressively more difficult here for Bishop. That's a good position, though. You can hit those factories. And that's important. You can hit the factories. And so you just have to stick it down. If you can kill those two factories and stop production, that's going to be huge. It's going to be massively in favor of Bishop. But the tank count keeps growing. We're above 200 supply. Mine's in the middle there, though. Drop ships on the high ground. Gonna take control over the entire section. He's got Templars, though. They're gonna have to storm on the high ground. So the high ground. He's gonna take down those tanks. He dislodge them as quick as he can. More factories. More commencement as you on 3 o'clock. Bishop is racing. He's racing as fast as he can. But is it quick enough? You can see the commencement on the side. Does he know? Like, does this give him the information? that there's something being built there on the side or not. If he finds out about this, it might just save the game for him. Carriers in the air. Yeah, we're getting into the danger zone. Bishop is getting into the danger zone. He's balling up his army. He's gonna need Goliaths. Tanks of the high ground, their support. The support from those tanks of the high ground, you cannot understate how important they are. They completely dominate this exit. You can see it on the kill counts. Well, okay, they didn't get any kills, but they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage on everything passing through. I'm gonna try to kill this. Gonna have to un he's always picking them up. Storms on this really big group of tanks and marines on the side. He takes back control over his left side, so the factory's no longer in danger. Big dropship army is gonna go onto the high ground. We have armors and carriers, so high ground no longer that big of an advantage, but he's gonna have to try from one angle or the other to try and get control over this base. Might unload on the top corner here and use that to push towards the Nexus. Buell does not have a lot of minerals, so that's a possibility, but Bishop, of course, doesn't quite know what we know. But he's gunning for it, he's going for it, he's gonna try to... He's going for the Nexus, he's gonna try to unload right here. Armors on the bottom side, carriers moving up. Tanks unloading. Gonna go for the absolute toppermost corner. Probes are gonna go bye bye. Probes are running into the tanks though. More probes that go down 50, 49 stay alive. He has about 20 right there on the top corner. 31 probes alive. Most of them on the gas. Bill just to be used economic hit. And he's losing the Nexus as well. Bishop is showing up big time with some good moves. Impressive moves. Killing even more probes. Bill is getting obliterated. APM dropping a lot. I think Bill realized that he might have made some small minor mistakes and now he's paying for them dearly. But the big tank group there in the front is somewhat his saving grace. Getting more tanks here on the right. Bishop though is in a good position to try and topple the game in his favor. Bill has to kill his own cannons to make space for another command center right here. He has to start producing SCVs to replace probes really quickly. His money is low, 23 probes. At, at, th at this point, at this point, Bjol cannot keep up with the production Bishop has. Tanks rolling into the middle, and have to scan. Tanks are taking real big damage there, but sieging up under the cover of those. Actually, who's gonna win this one? Okay, we're gonna do the tank. Bjol is gonna win the fight in the middle. The Dragoons and his elves are taking the fire and the tanks are killing the tanks that Bishop has. He's pushing forward aggressively. Carrier's still in the air, he's got about 7 of them, make it 8. So, carrier tank, pretty strong combo. He's got the Valkyries in the air with max, well, 2-2, two, two, not yet 3-3. Three, three. But those Valkyries might be enough to do some big damage on the carriers. A little bit over aggressive there, Bill on 77 minerals, now 100, he's broke, he's recovering, but he's broke. He's gonna mine from here on 3 o'clock as well with his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 command centers. Number 7 right there, triple, double nexus there, back at home. So now the question becomes, how is Bishop gonna push across and kill this army on the middle? He's got more supply. Bishop has more supply. He's waiting for dropship, he's gonna unload on top of the tanks with dropship, I'm sure of it. That's what he's gonna do. Or he's gonna fly around and kill these SCVs. Or maybe fly into the base and kill probes again. Carrier's moving. 
He saw those drops with the Observer. He knows they're there. He's going to try to intercept them. Arbiter in the mix as well. Going to try to protect his own economy. Tanks coming in. Oh, unloading. Going to siege up. These two shots. Oh, stasis. He still gets a shot off there, though, on the SCVs. But yeah, he stasis that one pretty quick. I think he should have moved onto the middle and killed those tanks in the middle and then tried to push into Bjol's base. So what is Bishop up to? He's lying in a way. He's still waiting here. He really has to kill this here on the middle. Going Mass Wraith here would probably fix all of his problems, but he's not going for the Mass Wraith. Bjol is being given a lot of time to recover. He's got a lot of SCVs, mining minerals. He's got 42 probes, mining gas and minerals. Bjol is back in the race. On 240 supply, he's growing bigger and bigger, more tanks entering the middle. Getting his... <clears throat> Getting his first armory as well. And I need a drink. Ah, ah delicious. Okay. Ghosts are entering. He's gonna try to go for the lockdown on those carriers and then get in with those dropships and Valkyries. Oh, Stasis on the ghost. And the Arbiter gets all the Arbiters. Now it's time for whatever else he had to go in and try to stop this, but it sucks for Bishop that the Arbiters responded quick enough to prevent the mass lockdown and everything. The move was very good by Bishop, but Biol, all he had to do was pay attention and respond, and it worked out like a charm. So Bishop might be reaching a point where he simply doesn't know what to do because he doesn't have the experience on fastest to know what to do. He's relying on his normal map professional experience, and that might just not be enough. Valkyrie's coming in yet again. Oh, it's gonna lock them down again. That's one. How many energy does he have? That's two. Time to get those carriers. He gets a couple of them. Valkyrie's coming in to try and finish them off. But the Valkyries aren't 2-2. Two, two. They don't have 3-3. Three, three. So the carriers are definitely way stronger, even though there are only six of them. Course is coming in as well to clear out the skies. Does he have disruption web? I wonder. And the pick of his army on the middle. Probably his last ditch effort. 300 supply for Biol. Tanks really are controlling the middle. Picking up as much as he can. He's gonna go for another attack there on the Nexus, on the main economy. Arbor there. He's got a Fessel in the mix to try and hit the Arbor and get it to uh, EMP it so that it no longer has energy for his stasis. That's his option. That's his choice. Wait, he's gonna go for the Matrix on the frontal portion. Fessel in the back. Gonna unload somewhere about here. Scans. Sees everything. He's gonna have to unload as fast as he can. Unloads. Stasis a little bit too soon. He should have gone in with the Fessel first. Oh, another stasis. Double stasis. Didn't EMP at all on the Arbor. A little bit of a misplay. EMP comes down, but way too late. Carriers on the middle, moving into the army on the middle. Eight carriers, Arbors in the air. Most of the supply not at home. Almost no Valkyries, almost no Goliaths. Tanks rolling forward. Templars ready to storm on this, and Bishop calls GG. Bill wins in the end with some dirty play. Dirty, dirty play. Bishop almost had it, but then decided to basically stop moving. I think Bishop overestimated how rich Biol was. Biol was broke. He was really, really broke. He was almost out of the game. But Bishop suddenly decided to play passively. And Bishop could have won. Bishop could have won if he had played this more aggressively on the middle and forced Biol to spend more money on rebuilding his army instead of rebuilding SCVs while sitting here not building any army at all. That really backfired. But thanks for watching, it was RGB for RGB TV. It was Bishop against Biol. Bishop had a pretty good showing for his first two fastest map games but couldn't quite get a win against Biol who has like four years of experience over Bishop on fastest map and it showed, but Bishop showed a lot of promise. He is fast, 
He's got a good set of brains, great micro, everything is in the right place. Just has to build a little bit more experience against the players like Bill, Libaku, Brain, and all those other names that are part of the game. 